Hi there, I'm Dave Calver, a Canadian occupational therapist, co-founder, and participant assistive products chief clinical officer. Welcome to my little home on Vancouver Island. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk to you about CUB and the many clinical advantages we think it offers to kids that require postural support. Let's get into it. A third wheel can be fitted to CUB to make it more appropriate for mixed terrain access and jogging. It connects with tube receivers and cotter pins, so it is fast and easy to put on and to take off. All functions of CUB work with this all-terrain third wheel accessory, including tilt, recline, knee extension, everything the chair works as normal. Let's start with the easiest. Cub has tilt. Tilt in space. <laughs> tilt! I never understood why people said tilt in space. I mean, where else can one tilt? Cub has from minus 9 to 45 degrees of tilt. We know this is important for kids in the chair all day that do not have the ability to reposition themselves. It's important for skin protection, digestion and feeding, resting, and many, many other things. The negative tilt can help kids with anterior tilted pelvis or kids that will use standing transfers to get in and out of the chair. Many clients require some degree of recline in their backrests. Please understand that changes in recline make significant changes in many other parts of the chair that could be harmful. Club's recline angle can adjust from 75 degrees to 135 degrees. There are seven incremental positions for this recline. We have developed a recline lock that will allow easy adjustment but also prevent accidental releases. Keep everybody safe from playing little brothers and sisters. Cub includes recline blocks to ensure the recline in the backrest returns to the same position every time. It protects against accidental releases and keeps the user safe. It is adjustable with only one tool and once positioned and tightened remains securely on the chair. They can be loosened and repositioned at any time. The two sizes that Cub will come in accommodates kids with 8 inches to 14 and 3 quarter inches hip widths. These sizes can accommodate kids from approximately 4 to 5 years old to a teenager. Cub's backrest heights can accommodate kids that require between 12 and 22.5 inches of backrest height between the two sizes. This amount of backrest adjustment can fit kids that want to propel independently or who need full postural support with headrests, laterals, pelvic strap and shoulder harness.
To adjust cub seat depth, loosen the captured centered bolt in the middle of the seat. When the bolt is loosened, slide the seat pens forward or backwards to achieve the desired depth. Retighten the bolt. Double check your measurements. Cub has a headrest that adjusts laterally for height, depth, and rotation. It is also easily removable with two wing nuts. It provides lots of space for assisted transfers and reattaches in exactly the same position each time. Push the button and extend the knees to where they need to be. The footrest adjusts independently to easily accommodate a wide range of users. It has height adjustment, forward and backward adjustment, angle adjustment, and provides slots for the addition of foot straps, ankle straps, etc.
Every cub comes with a four point pelvic strap. This is so important for pelvic support and control. There are many possible attachment points for the pelvic strap providing optimal positioning. The body harness has a butterfly design to better conform to the user's body. It adjusts at all four points of attachment and quick releasable for transfers and safety. The sternum strap is adjustable for height to position it perfectly for each user. Cub comes standard with hip guides. This allows us to fit a wide range of user sizes. They help to control the pelvis and optimize postures. Cub also comes with lateral supports for the torso of the users. They adjust the same as the hip guides and can be adjusted for height, width, depth, and angle very easily and quickly. Cub comes with quick deployment anti-tipper bars. Flip them out when protection from tipping is important, but then tuck them away when, need to, when you need to in order to navigate steps, stairs, and other obstacles. The armrest adjusts quickly and easily with one tool. There are two bolts that must be loosened to adjust the armrest as required. It is adjustable for height and angle. Make sure to retighten the bolts after adjustment for secure and safe use. The push handle has a ratcheting push button joint, same as knee extension. This allows all pushers, caregivers, or family members to find a comfortable position. It also allows varied hand and grip position throughout the day for comfort and to navigate various terrains. We think this is important.
The separator, or pommel, has a quick release handle to flip the separator down and out of the way for transfers and transportation. The pommel also locks back in position for exact placement each time and is adjustable for height, width, depth and lateral position on the chair. It is also removable if contraindicated. Cub uses 6mm bolts and 10mm heads for all attachment points and adjustments. Aside from the rear axles, clinicians can provide chairs faster, serving more clients and saving the centers for hum on human resources costs. Laterals and hip guides can be loosened, adjusted for height and width and retightened very quickly. How-to videos on adjustment and maintenance are available on our website. Don't worry about forgetting, we all do. With the ability to remove the seat, fold the mobility base, and remove the rear 24 inch wheels, this chair is not only super small, small enough to fit in the trunk of a Toyota Corolla, who else can say that? And yes, the trunk does close. But it also breaks the chair down into smaller components, lighter components, which makes it easier for moms, grandmothers, brothers and little sisters to be able to pick up the chair and move it wherever it needs to go. We think this is a super cool component of our chair. So please stay tuned for more updates soon from Participant Assistive Products. We'll be talking to you soon. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.